Good evening, I'm Brianna Willis. Here's what's making headlines from across the county. The latest in the Matthew Queen trial. Court proceedings finally resuming after two days of postponements. The first postponement was because a juror needed to be replaced after getting in a car accident, and the second was because Queen showed up in court visibly injured. Today, Queen testifying he drove around with law enforcement on Tuesday and showed them locations where he buried Michael Holsenbake's remains. During cross-examination, prosecutor Eric Smith asked if Queen cut up a body and spread pieces of it across Kern County. Queen said yes, explaining that what happened to Holsenbake was, quote, horrific and gross, but he denied being a violent person. Later, Sergeant Chad Garrett testified he led a team that searched five locations. They found a single piece of backbone. Facing dozens of charges, including torture, murder, and kidnapping, Queen faces 50 years to life if convicted of everything. We will continue to follow the trial and bring you the latest updates. And when it comes to gas prices, the pain at the pump continues. AAA reports drivers are paying an average of $4.14 per gallon nationwide. In California, however, gas prices average $5.69. Here in Kern specifically, it's even worse, drivers paying about $5.76 per gallon. According to GasBuddy.com, the cheapest gas available in Bakersfield is located at the Fast Strip at the intersection of East Pacheco Road and South Union Avenue. Brandon. And we had some very gusty winds in Kern County today, gusting over 60 miles per hour for places like Mojave and also at the base of Tehachapi Pass. But that is not going to be the case tomorrow. Everybody facing calmer winds and in general, a nice forecast as we head into the weekend here. Let's get into your seven day and you're going to see that those breezy conditions are out of the forecast for now. The temperature is warming up into the weekend, 83 on Saturday, back down to about 80 on Sunday. Bigger warm up next week, 88 Wednesday, and we are keeping an eye on a rain chance on Thursday. 7 day forecast for our mountain communities. I do bring those winds back for our Saturday, but not as strong as they were today. Calmer and warmer towards the rest of next week. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, should head to our website, turn to 23com